everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is retake number two and I'm going to tell you the funny story why. But if you haven't done so already, hit that notification bell, or well, hit the subscribe button, then the notification bell, and give me a thumbs up and share this video because, wow y'all. And if you didn't know, this is your girl, Wyoming Blessed with Tish. Koda's over here, which is my son. He wanted to do a video. We have shrimp shumai, which is his favorite. I'm we have motivated. <laughs> shrimp rice cake rolls, which we've never had. We have these right here. This one is cooked rice ball with shrimp and mayonnaise. That's what went wrong. And this is cooked rice ball with cumin and squid. Squid, y'all. I didn't know you were supposed to warm them. So I went and like did unwrap that. It took a bite and I was like, something's not right with this. So. I've seen people on TikTok try them. I didn't know they were supposed to be <clears throat> my or heated. These. We have QP mayo, um, yeah. fire nuclear sauce. You'd like these? What? These things. Mm, oh, I know. And we have dipping sauce here. I don't, <clears throat> I don't know why my voice is doing that all of a sudden. Sorry that that clicked like that. I love, this is rice wine, or red Red wine vinegar, chili oil, sesame oil, and a little bit of soy sauce, and it's so good. We have shrimp cocktail here. Mmm. Mmm. These are my new chopsticks. Aren't they pretty? Isn't there a drink called shrimp cocktail? Mm-mm. So now we can try that. And it already, the texture looks better. I think that's... We're going to talk about some updates, my, my appointment on Monday. Chicken or something? No, it's shrimp. No, this part. No, it's all shrimp, I think. I oh. don't know. Maybe not. <laughs> Never had this, so... I think I've had it at a restaurant, but... I couldn't tell you for sure. Mmm. Mmm. I like how chewy it is. Mm-hmm. Not I too like chewy, that. not too soggy. Right. But it has substance. So. It has balance. <laughs> let's try this now. Mmm. Mmm. Wanna take a bite? Why not? It's yummy. With that mayo. Okay, yeah, that's what they use on the big crab. Mm-hmm. Okay, so next time it's QP mayo. I can get oily I got crab. A whole and then I can use that. <laughs> I got a whole I bought a whole thing of it when we went down. So I had my appointment with my gastric surgeon on Monday. Mm. For those of you that don't have TikTok. Um, because of my... <clears throat> oh, so real quick for TikTok and Instagram. Come check out our video. Coda's with me. We're trying new foods. We have two different kinds of these and these shrimp cake roll things. Um, we're going to talk about the gastric bypass journey and we're going to talk about the whole mess. If y'all were on my live yesterday with Quota's Medicine. Um, this thing yeah, keeps come sticking check it out. to the plate. Mm. 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 <laughs> he must like these. Which is funny because I didn't think he would. But he does. Do you want the rest of this one? Yeah. I'll leave it right there for you. Because we have another one. Right here. Maybe. We'll get I swear every time I find a piece of food, no matter if Poncho's with us or without us, I always see a Poncho <laughs> here. At least once. Yep. 
Okay. All right, yeah. The first one, I did not unwrap very well. And, well, I mean, I did good compared to a lot of people I've seen on TikTok. Really? <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> this one is much better. Oh, they sure They're be. really good. But, yeah, so I had that appointment. Um, we, he wants, because of the gastroparesis, I have to do gastric bypass. Um... So I've been doing good. all my paperwork, or getting in all that. I gotta do blood work and the evaluation. <laughs> That's normal. For those of you that did it, did you do like the evaluation through their office, or did you find somebody? Um, I guess that's kind of where I'm stumped. Because she said through them it's $200. Um, and then I have to pay a $350 education fee. I'm guessing Scott Joe has Nana's car again. Mmm. Mmm. So good. Oh, you already downed that rice thing, didn't you? Mm hmm. So, I took it was one bite. Um, <clears throat> but she said surgery is very feasible before the end of the year. Mm. You want the rest of these? No, take one more of these. No, that one's fine. You can eat that one. Oh. Mm. Cool, it just stuck to it. <laughs> <laughs> these are yummy. Here's some shrimp cocktail, too. Mm. We haven't even touched it. <laughs> We're more focused on the dumplings. Of course, I do have to make sure I don't gain any weight, which is next to impossible, considering everything comes up. But... Um... Yeah. I don't have a lot left to do. And after this, you can come on hikes and things. Well, after you're healed. Mm-hmm. Which won't take too long. You will, I'm sure, not want to move even after healing up. Not too much. Every person's different. Because I did not want to play any sort of games or anything. That's even what, watch TV when I had my and surgery. And I know, I won't be able to have this anymore. But you know, like I told my Ooh, aunt, excuse me. I'm 100% fine giving up whatever if it means not being sick every day. Like, I'm okay with it. That's fine with me. <laughs> like, I'm over it. So... Trust me. I know it's a lifestyle change. I'm fully prepared for that. I know what that's And a like. thousand percent okay with it. Except they can't do nothing to fix mine. Oh, I know, Bubba. Mmm. Mmm. Hey, you can eat that if you want. I'm no? <laughs> good. You can have that last dumpling. <laughs> He's full, you Yeah, I'm full. So yesterday I was on TikTok Live. I was frustrated about Coda's insurance. His insurance hadn't approved the medication. They needed a pre-authorization. Um, which we've never had to have. Look what I found pretty pushy. Mm-hmm. And he's been taking it for almost two years. At this point it has been. Um, I do in December? No, because it's or January. Or November. Oh, wait, yeah. Because it was on that oxycarbapazine oh. stuff mm -hmm. before. So then, I was like, well, what do I do? He had two pills left. Uh, if y'all don't know, seizure meds are not something that you can just stop abruptly. <laughs> Even says it on the bottle. Um, they have dire consequences if you do. 
I had been on the phone with the pharmacist, the doctor, the pharmacist basically told me that because it, the entrance was pending, they couldn't use the discount card, they couldn't do an emergency fill, like, because it's considered a controlled substance. It's a freaking necessity medication. Um, they don't care because it's not it going to hurt them. All kinds of, like, he was rather rude, y'all. And um, so I jumped on TikTok Live to voice my frustrations of, like, I don't have $900 to pay for that. Never said I wouldn't come up with the $900 to pay for it. Oh. Yeah, I'm going to kill him later. It's a spider. Mm-hmm. Don't use that word. Oh. But. Oh, he's moving too. So. Yeah. I was in tears. I was upset. Emotional. Some lady come on there. Well, I guess if it's that important, you'll just pay it. That really pissed me off more. I was like, really? I, no, I, I'm like, obviously you don't know me or my channel or us at all because this mama goes hell to high water for this boy of course they'll come up with it like that's how life is but it was just like really really lady <laughs> look at my hair so y'all it says to keep these frozen And this one has been in my fridge for a little bit because I didn't know that it was supposed to keep frozen. So I'm not going to eat, eat that it. one. <laughs> I'm not going to try that one. So, yeah. yeah just They're one. really good if you guys can find them. I found them at my Asian market in Salt Lake City. Um, the Chinatown I found uh, my supermarket. Cool chips that I like. Yeah, if you can find them, they're delicious. I would definitely eat them. Again, but um, like I said, that one's been in there because it says it's good till March 10, 2023. But, but I didn't realize it was supposed to be frozen. So we're not going to touch that one. Anyways, y'all. So we got the medicine. <coughs> Thank God. The Lord above heard my prayers and my cries. I was yeah. so stressed that I didn't sleep much last night. Um, I got notified this morning that it, a family member had pa has passed, um, and I grew up working on her ranch, so having a funeral to go to this coming week. And she carried a lot of family history. Yeah, a that lot of never know. the family history on my dad's side, and it's now gone. Um... You know, my biggest word of advice is never, like, push off talking to somebody or seeing somebody. And it wasn't that I pushed it off. I just never had time, but I sure could have made time. Um, but, yeah. So, that's our update. I'm going to do the gastric bypass. Please pray for me that it goes smoothly. Um, I'm not going to sit here and pretend like I'm not scared because I am. Um... I'm thankful it's getting cold and these things mm. flying around will go Maybe we should keep to the H-E-L-L where you they know. belong because I'm sick of them. Flies are annoying. Because maybe he face. can fly in there. And yeah. You know. But anyways, yeah, I'm scared, but I know this is the best choice for me. Um, I'm done being sick, feeling sick every day, throwing up multiple mm. times a day. Uh, the other day it was three times. I couldn't keep anything down. Um, and he explained. So my gastric surgeon is actually a gastroparesis specialist as well. And he explained to me all that and told me it didn't matter what I ate. Ooh, it was going to happen. So whether I did keto or not. Didn't he say yeah. it develops as an embryo? Um... Yeah, that's kind of how he explained it to me, so... Or something of that sort. I was kind of like... 
You know, I was set on the gastric sleeve, so when he said gastric bypass, that threw me off. But upon doing research, gastric bypass is a much better choice for me. I do have a lot of weight to lose. Um, I have not gained back my full weight from doing keto, of course. Thank God. Um, I'm still about 40, 45 pounds, give or take. Less than I was, so I'm thankful for that. But we're going to begin this new journey. I have will obviously be changing this channel because mukbangs after gastric bypass um, are not really an option. You can do it. So if you have channel. some ideas, we'll leave a comment down below on what we should do. Lego um, channel. <laughs> I was thinking maybe like cooking, camp cooking, stuff like that for outdoors, vlogs. Who knows? Y'all know I went to school to be a chef, so I can cook anything under the sun. But we don't want y'all to end up like me. So anyways, I hope you all have a fantastic weekend. And as always, stay warm and stay blessed. Bye, y'all.